KSAT cameras, the only ones there is a Bear County Commissioner threw her hat into the ring for county judge. Precinct 3 Commissioner Trish DeBerry filed within the last hour, and now she has 60 days to resign from her current position in order to be eligible for the spring primary. Our Patty Santos joins us live with more on the Republican candidates that are vying for the position being left vacant by Judge Nelson Wolf. Patty. Yeah, DeBerry was elected as Precinct 3 Commissioner just about 13 months ago, and just a few minutes ago, she filed to uh, take over the reins as the uh, Commissioner's Court Judge. Uh, DeBerry has a public relations background. She owns her own company. She also works in news media. Now, candidates had until tonight to file. She did it with less within less than an hour left of that timeline. And we know that Republican Nathan Buchanan will be running against her on the GOP ballot. DeBerry said she wants to run to ensure the Republican Party has a chance at taking the seat, although it meant giving up her current seat. The most important thing for me is I've been in office a year and there is a resign to run clause associated with me filing. So a lot of deliber deliberation regarding having to give up the seat. Um, but, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, I feel like I've accomplished great things in a year, exhibited some great thought leadership. On the and four Democrats have filed for the county judge position. Those names include the mayor's former chief of staff, Ivalis Mesa Gonzalez, State Representative Ina Minjares, Gerard Ponce, and former District Court Judge Peter Sakai. Judge Wolf announced back in October that he would not run for re-election. This is the first time that he has not run since 2001. He will now appoint someone to take over Precinct 3 until an election is held. The elections are March 2022. Back to you guys.